animators and researchers develop automated technique for coloring anime. Japanese oh. animation production companies Imagica Group and OLM Digital have joined forces with the NAR Institute of Science and Technology to develop a technique for automatic coloring within anime production. <sighs> that would be a miracle. Sorry, sorry, sorry colorists, you, you're out of a job, but maybe they can pay <laughs> animators more. The coloring technique developed by the researchers is based on recent advances of machine-based deep learning. The researchers developed a color script to correspond with different segments of an image, which is then applied by an algorithm capable of machine learning. Although this technique is still in the preliminary research stage, the research team has stated their intent to improve the accuracy for commercial use. The team predicts that the results of their research will be ready for commercial use beginning in 2020. I want to stop here real quick and just mention that um i recently saw a talk at a visual effects style convention about the machine learning and i used to think for a long time that my field was pretty safe it's not uh, <laughs> machine learning is going to take away a lot of these jobs but the nice thing is the jobs that they're mostly taking away are the jobs that people don't really want to do you know there's not really an artistic merit behind the job it's just something you have to brute force and get done so but the problem awesome. with this is the economic problems of of an uh, enormous number of the workforce all of a sudden being out of work and having skills they learned in college that they can't apply anymore and being marginalized in that way so like you said though that's I'll more money for the animators i guess i'll be honest with you i I'll don't think that mind, I don't I think the money's gonna go to the animators right I think uh, it's being thoughtful <laughs> Right, uh, Keep in mind, because it's machine learning, fine, it can learn a pattern, but you're going to still need the artist or someone there to make sure the machine does what it's specified to do. Because okay. fine, it so, can color that, all these sheets, but it can get off calibrated and when, can mess up. Some that is true, we, but it reduces a majority of the work, at least. You're correct. Somebody still has to be there to put in the parameters. But the thing is that right. the hourly wage of a 40 hour week is done in less than an hour. Okay. So, so people who had, who had that work now don't have that work, um, which for the industry is great in the sense that more stuff can be made faster. But I'm just saying there's going to be a huge repercussion to all those people being out of work. Now, on the flip side of that, yes, it'll take away one job. However, it will open up many more jobs because. Even though it reduces that, there's always going to be something else to work on. But it's not like the people who spent, you know, four years and racked up a hundred thousand dollar student loan debt learning how to do stereoscopic conversion are going to have machine learning take over that job and they're going to get hired to watch that machine. A team of over 150 people is going to now be one guy. Okay, that's that's what I'm saying here. Those people are now going to have a degree that is worthless, skills that are worthless, that are not going to translate because the jobs will no longer be there. So yeah, new people getting into college, they're going to learn new techniques for the new industry. I'm just saying that there's a lot of people who are now going to be on the street, unable to work because all the stuff that they learned and spent all that money going to school for has been obsolete, which is why I advocate for not going to college and learning everything on your own anyway. Save the money. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can make the same I, arguments with photography as well, but... Can I can I uh, yeah. address some other um, oh, yeah. publishers have recently used artificial intelligence to color manga pages? Hakuensha began using developer Taizan's Paint Chainer automatic coloring software to create color versions of Akira Hagio's Jose Romance manga Kekon X Reinai. Keisuke Iwata, president of Japan's anime television network ATX, spoke last year about how anime production process could be completely replaced by AI. What a scary thought. I don't know about the entire production process, like drawing and designing the characters, but at least the coloring seems more feasible. If you fully automate art, is it still art at that point? That's exactly what I was going to say. I think that the soul of the shows that were released when everything was hand drawn, that soul is going to disappear. And you know what? Right now, remember we read that article about no one would be worse off if half the anime being produced wasn't 
that amount of anime is going to skyrocket. Right. So and like it'll be said, it, it'll just be a YouTube video at that point. Well, like I said, the money's not oh, gonna go to the animators. They're just gonna make more shows and work them that much harder. Okay. Well, another way to look at it is you'll hear me every so often in a podcast complain about there's no more watercolor in modern animation. Well, this I mean, might be another phase. I, I know that. I know that. <laughs> but it's not as prominent as what you would see in the 80s or 90s, though. Or like the show that we just watched. Compare that to like uh, Uramanga Sensei. Cam Jones says, if the fans boycott or react negatively to anime productions with automated coloring, then it won't be embraced by the industry. Um, I doubt it. I think that it, uh, there have to be, first of all, most people aren't going to be bothered by it. It's not going to be something that they can foresee into the future enough to be able to actually get hyped and angered over and actually call for this. Like I was going to mention earlier that um, one of the majority of jobs uh, in the United States for people without a college degree just out of high school is driving for a living driving trucks state to state. Like whenever I go to California, I pass like a million semis that are taking, you know, produce and stuff from the distribution centers and all that stuff. Uh, when automated self-driving vehicles replace all those, that is probably like close to half the population almost that's out of work, you know? And that's what I'm talking about here is that we, we through baby boomers and whatnot grew this population and, and across the world have grown our population so much that we are not going to be able to sustain ourselves post all this stuff happening and the jobs being lost, you know, it's going to be horrible. So regarding this, this though, in a well, let me just point something out. I, I saw a post on Reddit of somebody who claimed they created a bot to do exactly this. And I'm going to show you the result. So they, they said they created a bot to color this image, right? Now, they didn't really clarify whether or not these were like different parameters put in for different art styles or what. But uh, it's interesting to see. And I'm just, I want to show you if this isn't total bullshit, if this person actually is telling the truth and a bot did do this, this is what I'm talking about. This is what machine learning may be able to do that's impressive yeah yeah let's move on a bit i can go deeper into this but we're, we are not an economic podcast we are an anime we podcast so. the economic collective <laughs> um, well i'm just saying that down the line this information I, I know what you're saying relating to this industry is time. going to be something that we brace for it Okay, brace for it, especially if you are in a job that could be replaced. All right, so you got to start planning for this kind of crash 